my god, Kim! This is my favorite restaurant in Kumagaya. Um, it's a little far away from our house, so we maybe only come here once a month. And I only get one meal here. We'll get to that in a moment. I want to tell you a little more about the restaurant. We happened upon this place just in desperation of hunger. And we found kind of a genre of Japanese cuisine. This is what would be considered almost like a Denny's type place. It's many of the traditional type Japanese foods that you can get for rather cheap. Um, so I'd compare it to kind of a Denny's. It's not so much breakfast. I don't mean Denny's in the breakfast sense. I mean it in the sense that you can get tons of things that are a little bit different. It's not just a noodle shop. It's not just a udon shop. It's many different things. <laughs> you mean a noodle shop Noodles. and a noodle shop. <laughs> <laughs> not a noodle shop or a noodle shop. <laughs> Anyways, when we came up to this place the first time, we saw this gigantic display. And what you're seeing is basically a bunch of fake foods. In America, when we see things like this, we think, oh, that's a really trashy place they put these fake foods out. But they don't necessarily mean bad here at all. It means actually nothing. It means like, nothing. You could never know the quality. Nearly every restaurant does this. This isn't unique to this place by any means. True. Um, one of the good things about this is that when you see these dishes, you're able to pick the food by sight. When you're traveling around Japan, like us for the first time when we came here, we didn't know what the foods were called. We didn't know what the words meant. So we would find things like this or picture menus and that would make us really happy. We could communicate with people through pointing or taking a picture of the item and showing it to them for what we wanted as opposed to trying to say anything. All right, so at this restaurant, you actually use a vending machine to purchase your food. You don't talk to anyone, which is kind of nice, but <laughs> if, I mean, sometimes you may want to ask them questions if you can. Um, but we're gonna use the vending machine and make our purchase. All right, so for me, my favorite thing is katsudon. So I'm gonna go to the don section, which means on rice. And this is the katsudon that I want, and I guess this is the small version and this is the large version. So I'm going to get the small version and it tells me I don't have enough money for that. Hmm. You have to put money in. So I've got to put money in okay. and I'm going to put in Ichiman and that basically means 10,000 yen. And uh, this is more than $100. Have you ever put $100 into a vending machine? I'm going to. So I've got my 10,000 yen I can spend at this restaurant. <laughs> I'm going to get my katsudon. And Eric is interested in this steak yeah. and uh, ebi, which is shrimp yeah, um, so tempura. Yeah, steak and shrimp tempura set. Or fried set. Not tempura, but it's heavier. It's like a fried, deep fried thing. Then there's a very important thing that you must always do. Katie forgot this once. Get your change. And now it's going to cough out the change from that $100 bill, basically. Calm down, girl. <laughs> I'm rich. So it gave us these little tickets. And then this is one, one ticket for each of our meals. And we take these in and we hand them to them. And then in a couple minutes, they're going to bring us food. And then... Uh, we're going to eat it. And then we're going to eat the food. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a slight annoying thing about Japan. Um, like, at the tables, this is really common that they do this. So underneath this table is this little shelf. And um, my knees don't fit ever under these tables, so I'm always fighting with this shelf, like leaning against my knees. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. So I've made the light with like a cell phone light, so this is kind of cruddy looking, but it's dark under here. So anyway, so you can see this stupid shelf. And my knees are just jammed against it. And it's like, why does this shelf need to be existing? I think it's so you can put your bags under there or something, but it's just like, guys, come on now. Like, people, you know? Okay, so here is my meal. And my meal was like almost, like a little under like $10 or something. So it's not like tremendously expensive, but it's a little pricey. Um, so we've got rice, and this is actually unlimited. I can go get more if I want. It's kind of cool, but I never do. And I've got a salad here, and this has got like um, goma sauce, and that's sesame, right? Mm -hmm. Sesame sauce. Goma dressing. And it tastes like if you go to like a sushi restaurant in America and get a salad on the side, it tastes exactly like what they put on it. 
Just um, that in America they don't have corn. Yeah, there's no corn. Yeah, there isn't, isn't there? Yeah, they're I start not to, nailing the corn. I'm not realizing some of these things anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then this is just miso soup, and it's exactly what you think it is. And then this is my dish, and this is steak, and it's kind of a low-grade meat, to be honest with you. Um, I've never had really good steak here in Japan, so um, I think because it's super expensive, but I'm not really sure. Give it a try. But um, it's chewy. I'm gonna put it in this stuff, and this is like a oniony, garlicky, tangy, onion tangy thing. Garlic thing, yeah. And It's a little chewy, but it's not like the bacon at like McDonald's. But it's not a high grade meat. It's not a really low grade meat. It's just sort of a meat. The flavor is actually pretty good. Good. The peppering and stuff, and it balances out really well with the sun. This mystery sauce. And What's we, this? Hmm? I don't know. I guess this is like maybe. Shichimi? Maybe it's shichimi? Mm, it's more peppery than shichimi. Mm. I don't know what it is. I think it's very similar to this. I think you can add more of this to this to make it a little stronger. I think that's what it's for. Okay. Okay, and back to my plate. Back to the plate. And we also have big pieces of potato and some green beans and um, what is this called Bean in English? Sprouts. Bean sprouts. And then we have um, some fried shrimp. And this is not like a tempura frying. It's like a, like a deep fry. And this is just a tartar sauce. Apparently this is your normal tar tartar sauce, but that's just going based on what Katie says. I don't know nothing about no tartar sauce. I'm a tartar sauce genius. <laughs> All right, that's yours. And this is what Katie just like. His food sucks. <laughs> All right, I've got, I've got heaven on a plate right now. This, it, to me, out of like a one to 10 on the Japanese food scale of amazing food, this is a 10 out of 10, maybe an 11, I don't know. But it's, it's so good. I, I daydream about this meal. It's okay. <laughs> we need to edit that out. Okay. <laughs> All right. Downward. It's called katsudon. The katsu part of it is this deep fried um, pork piece right here. And one other thing that's really good about this is that it is covered in an egg while it is fried, I assume, and it almost makes a caramelized taste with the onions as well. It, it's, I don't even know how to describe, it's like sweet meat. It, it, it's sweet and meat at the same time. And the don part of katsu don refers to the rice that's down on the bottom. There are many Japanese dishes that you'll see the word don written at the end of it in a kanji, and uh, it'll just be on top of a bed of rice. This also comes with, well, something went in there. <laughs> this also comes with miso soup that is a million degrees and I always burn my mouth on it. This time I think I may have managed to get past that since we waited to make this video, so I'm gonna keep waiting on it because it still looks really hot. But this is my favorite meal. If you come to Japan and we're able to come to Yayoiken together, get this, please, or I'll think that you're stupid. They do have this <laughs> in other places. Oh yeah, you can get katsudon at many restaurants, um, but from what I can tell, Yayoiken is the best. And I compare all of them to this place. <laughs> All of them. Oh, I'm so happy right now. Let's eat. So lately I've also been obsessed with sushi. And one of the reason, one of the things I've been really obsessed with is um, tamago sushi, which is like egg sushi, which sounds really strange, but it's really good. Like it's kind of sweet and it just, it just feels right. Like eating it is right. So when we came here, I noticed that they had um, uh, tamago yaki, which is like fried tomato, which is basically an omelet, right? And um, it's like 180 yen or something for a side dish, so. Here we go. And um, what's, <laughs> this is a giant glob of mayonnaise. And it's like Japanese mayonnaise, so it's a little bit like spicy or something. Like there's a little wasabi in it or something. Like, I don't know what they do with their mayonnaise. It's a little bizarre, but I like it. Well, let's see what's going on with the egg. And are you gonna do it? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, here we go. It's a mayo on it. They yeah. say mayo is the yeah. part Yeah, they, they put mayonnaise on everything here. It smells like egg. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Um, 
like there's a tang in there that shouldn't be there from cooking an egg, so I'm assuming they've added some sort of seasoning to it. Like, it's really, really good. The mayo's not necessary, but it's fun. Let's see how you feel. Probably the best omelet I've ever eaten. Mm -hmm. What is? What in the world is that? That's I don't know. Good. It's it's just tangy and wonderful. There's nothing else in there. It's just egg and whatever seasoning they put in. There's no like ham or cheese or anything. It's so just egg. This was like 180 yen, and this was like a thousand yen. Next time we come here, I am just going to get a thousand yen's worth of these. That doesn't seem like a bad idea. <laughs> They're gonna be like, what? <laughs> the next time we come, I'm gonna get this again. <laughs> <laughs> that meal is incredibly good. I honestly feel like I just ate like deep fried pork and a lollipop at the same time. <laughs> the whole somehow it's not disgusting when you eat it. <laughs> it's really really good. A deep fried lollipop pop. A lollipop pop, yeah. Um, it's really incredible, and right now I, my mouth is just filled with this sweet, savory taste, and my whole body is just like, yes! So good. This fake one is my favorite. <laughs> 